good morning in this video I'm going to go over the latest update to the uh, pre elite edge node uh, that came out uh, apparently last night sometime so uh, stay tuned <laughs> Okay, we're looking at the T-Fuel staking pre-elite edge node and I don't see any change to this interface. Still shows the uh, same information. 170.6348 T-Fuel earned since this thing went live at midnight on uh, December 31st, 2020. The T-Fuel earnings on the uh, staking seem to be pretty consistent uh, as far as the daily earnings are concerned go back over here to the caching and looks like they've maybe cleaned up a little bit over here the one thing that I'm noticing is they've added this video encoding or that wasn't there before and it is tracking the T fuel earnings for the feature independent of the others I really wish that they would split out the edge compute and the edge cache to show you the earnings independent of one another instead of lumping them together up here. That way you would be able to tell exactly where your T-Fuel is coming from. Right now, because it's lumped together, there's no way for me to know exactly how much T-Fuel is coming from the edge compute versus the edge cache function. All I can go by is the fact that I so rarely have a edge cache job that I can only assume that 99% of what I get on this side is coming from the edge compute. I mean, it's rare. I, uh, I saw this morning I had one live stream job going on. So this number up here is at least partially from the edge caching. So Theta Labs, if you're listening, why don't you go ahead and split those two out so that we can see independently where our T fuel is coming from. We've got edge cache, we've got edge compute, we've now got the video encoding, and then we've got the T fuel staking. And two of the four are tracking the T fuel earnings independent of one another. So why aren't you doing that over here on the edge compute side? Give us an idea as to where our money's coming from. Other than that, I'm not seeing a whole lot in the way of changes to this interface. Fairly minor little things have been changed. For example, where it says beta here, it was just in white and now it's in blue, which I think is kind of nice, looks better. But this over here, this job, which so far seems to be the only job that the Edge Compute does, is this folding at home and for those of you that don't understand what the heck that is it's basically they're using your CPU to do some calculations relative to something called protein folding which is a medical scientific researching kind of thing which is cool that you know they're they're tapping into our CPUs and helping that uh, research go forward glad to be a part of it as long as the protein folding research is all above board not doing things that I wouldn't approve of but that's about it I'll put a link to a uh, two-minute video on what protein folding is in the description below the video so hopefully this was helpful to you and uh, if it was uh, hit that like button on your way out and I'll see you in the next video if you enjoyed this video please like it share it and most importantly hit that subscribe button Thanks for watching.